Enjoy this movie, then visit BrainPop.com for much more. You built a musical robot? Cool. Can it play the new One Direction song? How about something by Taylor Swift? What do you mean that music isn't sophisticated enough? Oh, it's a jazz bot. Dear Tim and Moby, what is jazz? From Katie. Well, jazz is kind of hard to define. But with the help of Moby's little musical friend here, we can give you a quick introduction to the basics. Jazz originated in New Orleans, Louisiana at the turn of the 20th century. It was played mainly by African-American musicians who combined several musical styles to create something totally new. They started out with a syncopated beat. Syncopation is when a musician changes around the natural rhythm of a piece of music. In syncopation, beats that are normally unstressed are emphasized. It's easier to understand when you listen to it. Hey Jazzbot, can you play Mary Had a Little Lamb? Now can you play it with a syncopated rhythm? You hear the difference? That's syncopation. Jazz also borrowed from the blues, the traditional folk music of African Americans in the South. Blues is played with a unique musical scale that relies on blue notes, notes that are slightly lower pitched than they would be on a major scale. Hey Jazzbot, can you play a blues scale? Hear those blue notes? The early jazz pioneers borrowed this scale from the blues. Syncopation and the blues both came from African musical traditions, but jazz borrowed from European music too. Jazz musicians often play the same instruments as classical musicians, including the trumpet, trombone, clarinet, saxophone, and double bass. Well, the real key to jazz is improvisation. That's when musicians make up what they're playing while they're playing it. Usually they'll start by playing a simple melody or phrase. Then they'll play different variations on it, going wherever the music takes them. So basically, you could say that jazz is a type of music that includes syncopated rhythms and blue notes and is based on improvisation. But that's only half the story. Jazz has changed and evolved a lot over the years. The traditional type of jazz that first came out of New Orleans is often called Dixieland. It peaked during the 1920s when Louis Armstrong was recording with his bands, the Hot Five and the Hot Seven. In the 1930s, the most popular form of jazz was swing, which featured big bands and a strong rhythmic beat. Band leaders at that time included Count Basie and Benny Goodman. During this time, jazz vocalists like Ella Fitzgerald became famous by singing popular songs in a unique jazzy way. Fitzgerald was famous for scat singing, improvising complicated vocal solos by singing nonsense syllables. <laughs> In the 1940s, musicians like saxophonist Charlie Parker and trumpet player Dizzy Gillespie developed a new form of jazz called bebop. It was way faster and more complex than earlier forms of jazz. Jazz was the dominant form of American popular music from the 1920s all the way through World War II. Since then, musicians and composers have developed many different varieties of jazz. Often, they combine jazz with other musical genres. There's Latin jazz, free jazz, jazz fusion, smooth jazz, acid jazz, jazz folk, you name it. Anyway, that's the story of jazz. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go download some disposable pop music. What? Oh, 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 can't move. You'll pay for this, jazz bot.
Visit us at BrainPop.com for more on this topic and hundreds of others. You'll find movies, games, quizzes, and activities. Learn more about the difference BrainPop can make.